I had the pleasure of coaching the women's soccer team at Villa Julie uh, in the year of 2000 when we got the bid to the National uh, Division III women's soccer tournament. Uh, the night that we got the phone call, I was home at, with, my, with my wife and son. It was about 11.30 at night, and the phone rang, and I had no idea that we were going to get the bid to the national tournament. Uh, I thought maybe we'd get the bid to the Eastern Collegiate Athletic Conference tournament like we did the prior year. Uh, but when I picked up the phone and the regional chair was on the phone and she said, Matt, are you sitting down? I knew exactly what she was going to tell me. And uh, I, I couldn't believe my ears. Uh, for us to be able to get that bid, that at-large bid, to go to the national tournament was uh, a big stepping stone for the women's soccer program here at Villa Julie and also a great stepping stone for the other programs here at Stevenson University as the years progressed uh, after we made that, that tournament bid. Uh, when I got the call, after I got off the phone, the first thing I did was try to contact Brett Adams, and this was probably about uh, 11.45, 12 at night, so I'm sure I woke him up, and I think he thought I was pranking him. I thought for sure, I don't think he believed me at first, uh, because our record was, was okay, and it wasn't, it was over 500, but we had the best record in our region, and that's why we got the bid. And uh, so we moved forward, and our first game was against Christopher Newport University, and a lot of schools, a lot of universities that we played with in the, in the regular season were very, very upset that we got the bid and that they didn't, uh, especially the ones who beat us uh, earlier in the season. So they really felt that we, we weren't the strongest team to, to um, support uh, the, the Mid-Atlantic region. So we had, we had something to show when we went down to Christopher Newport University. Uh, we played them at night um, on their home field and it was a fantastic game. Uh, it was 1-1 after the regulation time, and then still 1-1 after the first overtime, and then in the se second overtime, probably about just over two minutes into the second overtime, uh, Trish Young had a great pass to Kerry Harmon, and Kerry finished that ball into the back of the goal. And we all just ran onto the field, and it was probably the, the most exciting moment of my college career, uh, coaching career or any soccer coaching career that I've had and to see the excitement on these girls faces uh, was breathtaking. Uh, we, had, we made our statement. That was our statement that we did belong in the national tournament and that we could, we could achieve anything that was put in front of us. Coaching at Village Julie College for those six years was a great experience for me and working with those, those young female athletes uh, gave me plenty of memories that I, I look back upon all the time and I share those, those coaching uh, memories, those coaching moments with my boys who play soccer now at the high school and at, the, and, and at my youngest uh, Cardiff soccer club. And they love hearing my stories about the team and they know that at Villa Julie that we were very successful and that they know if they put their hard work into it, they can be successful too. And um, I constantly, I go back and I, I check on Facebook and I look at the players that, that played on that team and I see that they have kids now and that they're older and um, they're married. And it's just great to see that they have families and hopefully they're gonna instill what they, what they learned, what they took from that Sweet 16 appearance, uh, appearance and uh, share that with their kids as well. And that would just keep the tradition going on and on uh, for a very long time.